Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do a, a Sabre Sim run of the NFL main slate for Sunday on DraftKings. Um, we're going to use the projections that we have as of now, which is um, it's like Friday, 2.30. And again, just to kind of show you, you know, how to do this um, and how to use the tools at your disposal, and just different process uh, tweaks that you might be able to make. And this is kind of what I would do on a slate like this and in general. So the first thing I want to do again, I want to upload the projections. So this is, these are old that I had them in. I just, I just did a, a new run uh, recently. So it's going to be current as of now, but again, more important than, than now is how you do this, you know, as, as they updated later. So anyway, we're going to upload this. And I do like to exclude the unlisted players um, because uh Sometimes Saber Sam will just throw in some dudes and that, that I really don't want any of. In other words, they'll have like a one point projection at the classic slate that, you know, if your Saber Sam gets a, in, in the wrong mood, you could, uh, you know, could throw them in when you don't want them. And you can always, you know, take them out later, but this is just always easier. So let's uh, hit save. And now the new projections are up and let's just build 150. Um, now, again, what I like to do, I, I, like, I like to make zero changes to start. Okay, so we're going to build lineups, and what we're doing is we're building actually, I believe, five thousand lineups, right? Actually, it looks like we're building only twenty. So that's no problem because we could always add. But we're building fifty. We're building five thousand. Okay, and these are it's really funny. Like these are like the initial build settings, but you don't really have to specify because we're going to run a contest sim probably a little later that will overcome all of this. I believe. As you'll see, no no rules. I also don't have don't use player against. I, I do not have checked. Do not use players against opposing defenses. All right, I guess that's reasonable. Um. Okay, so let's first like up these to one fifty. And currently, again, like what we have is we have this this setting, this large slate setting, all right? And, and this is Sabre score. So Sabre score, they, they do a nice job defaulting to what they think you want to play. And that's going to be the um, the uh, the Millie Maker. But what we can do while we're thinking about this is we can add a contest sim setting here. And where is it? It's got to be somewhere. Let's, let's, let's put them all in here. So let's put in the, the, the Millie Maker. I don't know which one is the, here, we'll put this in. So this is the one that's only 173,000 people. So let's call this big Millie Maker just for the future. You know what I mean? We're going we're gonna to do these again. Now we use the flagship MME uh, as, a, as the lineup set to use. Could have used high stakes, but I still think that even though it's a 555, there's so many entrants that we could, we could put flagship MME. And we, let's add another one. Let's use um, the... Uh, Oh, that was the Mega Million. Okay, so I guess it's the 4444 or something like that. Is that what that was? Oh, this is the one 177,000. that we have already? Okay, we have that one already. So what did we do? I put Big Millie Maker. The Big Millie Maker is actually not. It's just a regular Millie Maker. I'll remember. Uh, we're not going to put in the 4444 because we're not playing that. But I will put in maybe the Wildcat. We'll put in the Wildcat. I think illust for illustrative purposes, we'll put in a single entry as well. So let's put in like a spy. Gotta be somewhere. Uh, can we search in some way? We can do power sweep. That's good enough. That's like a three max. So let's put in power sweep. And here we want to change this to instead of the flagship MME, we're going to put in uh, uh, probably like flagship single entry, even though it's three max. There's no thing for three max here. So let's put in uh, high stakes single entry. How about that? Okay. So we have the big Millie Maker, the Wildcat, and the Power Suit. Before we do that, let's uh, let's see what our initial build would look like. 
Okay, so right now, uh, let's first look at team stacks, and you see about 81% Arizona. Um, the next thing that I would probably do is see what it looks like when I, I change the min uniques. But before I do that, let me look at stack exposure. So it looks as though we're going to be getting a whole bunch of these three one, uh, QB plus three. Uh, also, a, a non-zero amount of QB plus four. And you could make the choice of whether to, you know, get rid of some of the stacks or not. You know, um, that's that's really, really up to you. I would probably do that. Like, I don't need a QB plus five. So let's just let's just get after this right now. So we would take out QB plus five. We would take out uh, no QB stack. We would take out, should we take out QB plus four or leave it in? Um, I, I'd like to leave it in for now. And the rest, we're just going to kind of leave the same. Next thing I want to do is I put min uniques. Let's make it say min uniques three. Just kind of spread out your exposure a little bit. And the first thing again you'll see is that the majority of your stacks are three one. And when you go into stacks, it's still going to be like 68% Arizona, but the rest are, you know, you get a little bit of a smoothing out. And you can already see like why you're getting these like one, these four ones is, is these guys are all so cheap. Like, like Michael Wilson, Marquise Brown, uh, Rondale Moore, Trey McBride, they're all really, really cheap in a good matchup. So they're all going to look really, really good. Um, and these one, three ones have been, you know, shown to be pretty good. And you also notice probably all these different Singletary lineups near the top. Again, this is, this is what it's trying to accomplish. Right? Um, this one is more of, uh, you know, gives you both Singletary and Tank Dell. And so what this is doing, again, we're, 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 Sabre score is taken into account to some degree ownership, but it's not as, well, I shouldn't say not as good, but it's not as, doesn't attempt to be as specific as the, uh, the contest sims. So why don't we take a look and run these? So we'll run the contest sims here. Before I do that, I want to see what the player exposures look like because I didn't get a chance to look at that. So I imagine all kinds of Devin Singletary, right? Just seventy-five percent Singletary. What are the running backs? What do you get? Um, Aaron Jones, Travis Etienne. But it's really just a whole cramming of this Arizona Houston game, but specifically on the Houston side. We go into quarterback position, for example. Wonder how much? Well, we do get some CJ Stroud. So on the CJ Stroud side, we're getting a four percent but it's it's really a Tyler Murray show so what I'm going to try to do let, let's see what it looks like when we when we apply the contest sims to this so what this is doing again is it's purporting to compare our 5,000 lineups remember even though it says 150 we built 5,000 our 5,000 lineups to the field of lineups specific to these types of tournaments that Saber Sim is kind of uh, uh, pretending not pretending is projecting to occur and you know it's it's a probably a good attempt at that you know obviously a lot of it's flawed but i don't know exactly how to improve it yet but that's the way technology works it's going to continue to get better nonetheless we ran the contest sims and now um we're going to rank these by contest and so now we're going to look at the millimaker maker and we're going to rank it by risk adjusted roi and see what that looks like okay so the first thing you'll notice is everything is different I shouldn't say everything, but you'll see that Geno Smith is now the highest owned quarterback. Not only that, but I imagine then that Seattle is going to be the highest owned set of receivers, us uh, uh, highest owned stack. And and why did that happen? Uh, well, it happened because we told it to do that. We didn't tell it to necessarily do Seattle, but we told it to do was compare our five thousand lineups to the field of lineups specific to that tournament that same research projecting exists and figure out where you can best get leverage, right? So apparently the Washington, the, the Arizona guys are projecting to be pretty high owned, which is why, you know, the, the, when you tax the contest sim part to it, you're getting a lot more of somebody else. Um, and that somebody else is is going to be Seattle. And so that's, uh, that's I think, very interesting. That's one thing I like to do with these, these you know, this contest sims is compare. Um, how, how, what, what is changing to the contest sim structure do 
to your analysis of what you know what you're supposed to be having. Um, let me take a look at running backs and see in this structure what I'd be getting that's different as opposed to all the you're still getting like almost all the singletary, which is very interesting. Um even considering the fact that he rates to be 28% owned. Is that really happening? 20? I guess so. Um, so it's going to be up to you, like what you do with this. I mean, you could, you could opt to use the, the, you know, the contest sim stuff. You could use the Sabre score adjusted stuff. You could mix and match, but uh, in either scenario, Arizona looks like a good place. It's just a question of whether they're going to be the highest owned or, or second to Seattle, which I didn't expect to be particularly high owned. So that's, uh, that's, that's actually pretty good. Let's take a look at the, uh, at the wild cat and see what that would look like in this climate. In the wild cat, uh, it looks to be more Arizona. Right, because we're even though we're we're only entering one, we're still being the same, building the same amount of lineups here. So it's actually like half Arizona, half Seattle. Um, when you look at say the power sweep, more three max. Let's see how that looks. So here you get even more Seattle, and now Miami kind of moves up the list, and and. Um, and uh, Arizona just disappears. It's very interesting. I, I think it's interesting that in the power sweep, Arizona is 0%. But they really, really like the Seattle Seattle stack. But then but then what you notice is that the top the top rated one doesn't have Seattle. Like this, your biggest exposure is coming to Seattle, but your top overall lineup is from Chicago. Uh, which this looks like a pretty good lineup, by the way. Um, but the Seattle's look really, you know, look really super solid there. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like now. And, and and let me let me see what else I can show you. Do I want to see what the defenses look like? Like in this this build, we get. Commanders against the Giants, I guess, suppose 30% owned. So that would be the one that I might have to pair back just because, again, I don't like them that much of any defense in general. And then you see Texans, Steelers. So not really a lot of cheapos there. Boy, right back to Buffalo, huh? Trying to attack Buffalo. You want to play Panthers 2200 against Dallas? Maybe. Maybe you do. But that's pretty much what I have um, at, at this Friday juncture. So, so that's what I would do. I would. And and you guys want to do this? You can keep checking the updates and keep building and keep building and keep seeing what types of things they 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 create for you. Let me check and see if I did my FanDuel sheets yet. If I did, then I will do the. Uh... Oh, I did. So I can actually do a FanDuel. So let's let's do that. Huh? Let's up, we'll do the same thing. We'll upload to FanDuel. Exclude unlisted players. And let's build one. Now, this time we're going to remember we're going to build one fifth. But again, one of the things people ask me is what do you do with the exposures? Um, I'm inclined to 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 not mess with them. Once 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 I set my my rules and my and what I want to do, I'm inclined to not mess with them. And I know that's scary. Like if you built the thing saying 82% Arizona, there's a reason why it's showing up that way. So if you have the risk tolerance, then I would I would literally you know do the 82% Arizona. I would definitely I would do that. If that's where all my process has led to, I wouldn't. I wouldn't just be scared of it. What I might do is again, uh, you know, raise my min uniques to two or three or something like that. 
All right. So in FanDuel, first thing I look at is once again all this all this singletary. But let's look at the stack uh, team stacks first. Boy, mostly Miami, which is uh, you know we didn't see any of that on DraftKings. Um, so again, I would just kind of check to see where this comes from. So stack exposure, two zeros, one zeros. So again, I wouldn't mess with any of it except for maybe the zero QB stack. And then let me look and see what the running backs look like. Again, like all the Singletary, it's going to be it's gonna be jammed, right? Anyway, next thing I would do, and once again, I would go to Min Uniques 3 probably, see if that what that impacted. Still Miami, then Seattle, Jacksonville, the Rams. Well, let's again run a contest sim and see what we have. Now, again, we don't have all the details here of what these things are, but let's – Let's build a Millie Maker. Let's say 80,000 people. Millie Maker. Save settings. And let's just build that one. So let's run the contest, Sim. It's not actually, it's actually the Sunday Million. It's not the Millie Maker. You only get, I think, 300,000 per first event. All right, so that ran pretty quickly. So let's take a look and see. Millie Maker, risk-adjusted ROI. When we do that, it bumps Chicago all the way up to the top. And these are the things that, that I notice. All right, this is the things that you can, you know, you, you can, um, I don't know, you observe this. So how do you make use of that? Um, what I guess it means is that Chicago is going to be particularly low owned relative to everybody else, because if it gets the bump from the contest sense, it's probably because they're low owned. So if it turns out that you're, you're for whatever reason, not confident in the ownership projections and you think Chicago is going to be chalkier, then you can pair back some Chicago. I guess one thing you can do with that information. Uh, let's take a look. The stack exposure, again, two zeros. This is all fine. And running backs, Aaron Jones finally gets ahead of Darren Singletary in the ownership there. Um, and that's, I guess, pretty much all that I would have on this Friday. I'm going to be doing it live Sunday with the uh, with the dudes uh, at 11 o'clock. Uh, and uh, again, uh, my, my goal is to make sure that you guys learned something from every one of these videos. I hope you did. Any comments, please let me know.